In this video, we're going to look at how we can save our keynote presentations. Basically, what we're going to look at is how we can rename a current presentation, copy or duplicate it, as well as revert to a previously saved version of a presentation. Let's see how we do this. Let's go to my Mac. So I'm working on my presentation here. Let's first look at saving, just general saving. I know it's pretty simple. We use Command S or we go up to the File menu and save. But I'm just going to show you something here. I've made some changes to this presentation. If we look up towards the top at our toolbar, you're going to see I have the name up here. Well, if we go over to the right, you're going to see it says Edited. This is how we can easily see if our file has been saved. This file has not been saved. So what I'm going to do is save this. As I mentioned earlier, you can go up under File, and then you go over to Save, or you can use my favorite way of doing this, Command S. Now what about renaming it? How can I rename this? You're going to see that this one is called Tulip Time Presentation 2. I want to rename this. I want to take out that 2. Well, in order to rename it, all I have to do is just click in here, and you're going to see the title pops up, and I just type in the new name. I want to call this Tulip Time Presentation, let's see here, 2022. We can see that it is now named Tulip Time Presentation 2022. It's going to be saved in iCloud. I hit the return key, and now it just saved that presentation. It renamed it as Tulip Time Presentation 2022. I can also go up under File here, and you're going to see Rename. I can select that as well, but I find it easiest just to go up to the toolbar. You click on the name, and then from there you can rename it. Now what about duplicating or saving it as something else, saving it as another file? Well, we basically can do either one. We can duplicate it, or we can save it as another file. They both do the same thing. They're both going to duplicate it. But the difference is, is how it handles it, how it prompts you to save it. If you go and save as, it asks you to name the file right away. So let's say I was going to create a 2023 file. So I need to duplicate this or save this as a 2023 file. So now what I do is I go up under File in the menu bar, and then you're going to see Save As. When I use Save As as opposed to Duplicate, what it's going to do is it's going to ask me to name it right away. So it names it, then it duplicates it. So let's go ahead and do that. Save As. We can see it asks me for a name, so now I just go 2023. It's going to save it in iCloud. I click on Save, and now I'm working in that 2023 file. I still have the 2022 file. So what I can do is I can go up under File here and open up that file. So you're going to see 2022. So I have two files. It basically duplicated it. But what it did is it asks you to name it before it duplicates it. Now when you duplicate it, let's go ahead and do this again. So I'm back in my original file. I want to duplicate this. Maybe I'm going to create a 2024 file. I'm really thinking ahead here. Well, to duplicate it, you go back up under File, and then you go over to Duplicate. Now you're going to see it works a little bit different. It's going to duplicate the file, then you can name it. So now I click on this. It duplicated that file. So if I bring this window down, you're going to see I have two files, and it didn't ask me to name it. Right now it is just called copy. Actually what it is called is untitled. If I were to save this, Command S, now it asks me to save it. So you can kind of see the difference there. Save as, names it, then duplicates it, or duplicate, duplicates it, and then you can name it at a later date, or when you save it actually. The last thing we're going to look at is how you can work on or restore a previously saved version. I'm going to delete this here. What we can do is pull up different versions of our file. So let's say I made a change to this and I don't like that change. I wanna go back to a previously saved version. 
with Keynote on the Mac, every time you save it, it does create a new version. It does use versioning. It does this with the numbers, pages, and Keynote. To go back to a different version, all you have to do is just go up under File in the menu bar, and then you're going to see Revert. Over on the right, I can revert to my previously saved version. So let's just say I messed something up and I just want to go back to the previously saved version. I can just select that and it'll go back to that version. But also what I can do is go back in time. Let's say I wanted to go to yesterday's version or maybe even last week's version. In order to do that, we go up under File again and then we go over to Revert To and you're going to see Browse All Versions. Now the reason why I can't go back to the previously saved version is because I already did that. So now I select Browse All Versions. And if you've ever used Time Machine, you're going to see that this looks very familiar. Here's my current document. So this is the one that I'm working on. And here are my other documents. You can see that I have a number of different documents here. To go back, all I have to do is just click on these arrows here. And I can go back in time. Some of these are not loaded because they're in iCloud, so if I wanted to load this, all I have to do is just click on it, and it'll load it, and then I can get a preview of it. I can also go over to the right here, and you're going to see these lines here, and I can go back in time with that. So now what I'm able to do is select from a previously saved version here, and then once I find that file that I want to restore, so let's say I wanted to go with this version here. I select it. We can see it's going back. I load the version to make sure it's the right one. I get a little visual preview, basically. I have to click on the cloud. And then if I want to restore this version, all I have to do is just click on Restore, and it'll restore that version. So we can go back to a previous version just by clicking on Restore. So those are the different ways that we save our documents. We can see if a document needs to be saved by going to the title. You're going to see edited on the right if it needs to be saved. If you want to rename it, you can click on that title name and then you can rename it. You can also go up under File and rename it there. If you want to duplicate it, you have a couple of different options you can save as, which is probably what I would recommend. When you use Save As, it's going to ask you to name it, then it'll duplicate it. But you can also just duplicate it where it will make a copy of it and then you can name it later on. And then you can also go back to a previously saved version. This is all under the file menu. So those are the different ways we can save our documents including duplicating them, renaming them, and going back to a previously saved version with Keynote on the Mac.